So I think if we jam the spoon into the impeller, uh, you'll be able to cut it without it spinning. This is a turbocharger. And this came out of uh, whatever I put on the screen. A turbocharged car. <laughs> I don't remember exactly right now. We've always wanted to cut one of these in half. This turbo's and... name is Garrett. It says right there. Garrett. So, uh, Mitchell, can you just tell everybody uh, real quick, in layman's terms, what is a turbocharger? A uh, turbocharger makes your car go fast. Okay, we're gonna cut it in half, see what the cool cross section of this looks like, and then we'll uh, explain it quite a bit better exactly what's going on here and how this works. We'll try to, anyway. If not, we've got a guy we can ask who knows more things about things. Off camera, I had to run it back over a couple spots just to make sure it broke, was all the way through and it just fell apart. Good thing I stuck this there or else I think it would have rolled off into the tank. Wow, I didn't expect this half to stay all together. I thought it would fall apart into a bunch of pieces. It's the other side of this that I think will have all the interesting bits. I am ready, my body is ready. And too slow. <laughs> okay. This is uh you can see the bearings right there, Dan. Oh yeah, I think we I think we got the bearings. Yeah, let me get a little more of those. It's close to going. Just gotta get the last little bit of garnet out and there it goes. Those balls are almost gonna roll out. Surprised that you stay in there. <laughs> and uh, that's what a turbo looks like. That's actually a pretty cool shot. I like how you can spin it and have this not look like it is uh, cross sectioned. You could probably put some new impellers on this that, are, that aren't cut in half. That would look pretty cool. So, do you want to do that thing where I pretend to be smart, or should we just take it to Derek? <laughs> So this is uh, Derek, and this is his dojo. This is a dojo. Is that what you'd call it? <laughs> Derek knows a few things. Explain some stuff. So this is a turbocharger off of one of our little Nissans. A turbo basically just compresses air and jams it into your motor and makes it go fast. So it'll suck it in through here, and when this is complete. So this is called a suck hole. This is, uh, you could call it a suck hole in some places. <laughs> That's not uh, the technical term? Uh, not today, but. <laughs> so it'll suck air on this side because it's spinning exhaust out of your motor, which just naturally comes out and it'll spin that side, which will suck air on this side, send it into your car. And then you've got the core of the turbo and this one's actually a ball bearing turbo. So these are the fancy ones, but this one didn't work so well anymore. But you're not supposed to tell them that this one was brand new. <laughs> we just wasted a no, ton no, of money, guys. Now it's very ruined. <laughs> so you can see like your oil journals in here where the oil comes in and lubricates the whole system, drips out of the bottom and goes back into your car. And that's, that's basically a, a horse pressure creator right there. So essentially just puts more air in the engine, more air, more mm -hmm. boom booms, faster. So this is the more the air you hole, get, is this the blow hole? That's the blow hole. <laughs> <laughs> is it the bigger the blow hole, the faster the car? In theory, it, it works about the same way. The more air you move, the better it works. So how do you move more air? Bigger yeah. blow hole. Mm -hmm. what, what about a bigger suck hole? Uh, if you suck more, you can blow harder. You can get a bigger suck hole with a bigger blow hole. 
This conversation's really weird. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> and now you guys are all more learned. And uh, Mitchell, remember, the bigger the blowhole, the faster the car. The... Is that why whales are so fast? Yes. And we've got one more turbo here that we can play with. Uh, we want to use the water jet to spool this one up, spin it up, see how fast we can get it going. But uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you think we should do with this exactly. And then uh, we'll do that in another video. I don't have any ideas. That's why we need you guys in the comments. What should we do with this? And putting it on a car is not an acceptable answer. Mm -hmm.